Hi, uh, this is a personal update because I haven't posted any videos on this channel for a while, a long time, and I thought I'd explain why. Because I, I had surgery on December 3rd, and because <clears throat> my prostate was too big, uh, it was making it uh, too hard to empty my bladder, and um, so this was a surgery to sh shrink, end up shrinking the size of my 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 prostate uh, by <coughs> um, uh, threading a, a device through my urethra while I was unconscious, thankfully, <coughs> and uh, putting needles through the wall of the urethra into the prostate and injecting steam, which kills the some of the prostate tissue and then over a period of weeks or months the body gets rid of that dead tissue and there's less pressure on the walls of the urethra so I can empty my bladder again better <coughs> and um, um, that, that procedure is called Rezum R-E-Z-U-M and after they do that they put a, a catheter in uh, to uh, make sure the the bladder can empty uh, while while everything's healing up, and uh, m most people who get most men only men get only men have prostates, so only men get this procedure, and um, <clears throat> so most men who get this procedure uh, only have a catheter in for a few days, maybe a week. But um, <clears throat> uh, I, I had it a lot longer, un unfortunately, because um, I have a dis an arterial disease. Uh, does strange things to the to arteries and uh, makes it more likely to get clots that can damage parts of your body. Like I, I lost five percent of my right kidney. And that's how I discovered I had this disease, or that's how the doctors discovered I had this disease. And uh, fibromuscular dysplasia, uh, FMD. And um, to prevent clots from happening again because of the, the FMD, I take a low dose aspirin every day. Uh, well, it, it not only prevents clots from hurting me but it also when 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 a lot of that prostate tissue had been killed um, it it made it uh, not clot what my blood didn't clot well in the prostate where the damage was so um, I, I got that first uh, um, catheter out or I, it came out after one week, uh, but I didn't last a day before uh, we re realized that I wasn't emptying my bladder. Uh, it was backing up, getting very painful, and I, ha I had to go to emergency room, and they had to put a another catheter back in. And uh, uh, I wasn't under general anesthesia at that time, and it hurt bad. Um, and uh, so, but did that and waited another week, and um, um, took it out again, or maybe it was maybe we waited a couple of weeks at that point, uh, and took it took out the second catheter, but uh, almost the same thing happened except in, instead of um, instead of urine coming out of my bladder like. Uh, would be normal. I had huge, gooey blood clots coming out, and it was that was very painful, and it also prevented the urine from coming out. So they had to put a third catheter back in, and that that is that is so painful that I I I I. I mm, urged my doctor, I, I, 
I told him I, I don't want I want to leave this in a long time until we're sure uh, as sure as we can be that it's a, a, another one's not going to have to go back in without general anesthesia. So I, th I think I think I uh, uh, that that catheter I think I had catheters in for about seven weeks total, um, and fortunately when I finally got the the last catheter out or the third catheter out I did not have to to um, uh, to get another one put back in it was kind of normal and uh, uh, I'm able to to empty my bladder a whole lot better so but before I had this resume years ago I had a tuna T U N A transurethral needle ablation procedure to for the same purpose and it worked for helped for a few years. Then I had a, a TURP, T-U-R-P, transurethral, I don't remember what the RP stands for, um, but it, it helped for a few years. Um, I'm hoping that this resume procedure will help for longer, but I, I'm hoping it destroyed more of the prostate tissue, and so it's, I'm hoping the effect will, will last longer um, uh, so all, all, every man their their prostate never stops growing but some grow faster than others and apparently mine grows faster than average so I had to get the first procedure way earlier than most men and and uh, I'll probably have to keep having one periodically uh, until I die um, but so that's uh, uh, it's possible to uh, to exercise while while you have a catheter in. And I, I, I watched a video of somebody else that uh, that that talked about that. Um, so basically, you clamp it off. You, you close the end of it so that you can disconnect the the bag, uh, the leg bag or the overnight bag, and you. So nothing will come out, and you curl it up inside your underpants, and you can walk that way. Whether or not you should depends on why you've got a catheter in. Um, and uh, I, I tried walking. I tried walking on my treadmill with the catheter in and the bag attached, and that was too uncomfortable. That was, that was too much tugging. Uh, uh, so uh, after. After I, I was afraid to try it, to try running. Uh, I walked. I did that sometimes to walk, but I walked very slow, and I didn't do it for very long. That was the only exercise I got for a couple of months, almost a couple of months. Uh, but uh, a few days before, I took it out. I didn't want to try running uh, uh, because I didn't want to. I wanted to try to make sure I didn't damage anything like maybe something is is uh, uh, finally getting clotted and and healing up and I, I didn't want to to disrupt uh, any of that tissue and make it start bleeding again so I held off on that but a few days before we were planning to take out the third catheter I, I finally um, tried running and I, I ran for for just a couple of minutes at five miles per hour and it, there was no tugging because there was no bag uh, attached and um, um, and that, that worked uh, but it, it worried me a little bit and so uh, after the catheter came out I, I didn't do any running at all for a long time just just walking uh, flat and and then slowly over the last few weeks uh, that was increasing elevation sometimes and increasing speed sometimes <laughs> I forgot to say that during those weeks when I wasn't exercising I gained about five pounds but uh, I'm not since I was since I started exercising again I have stopped gaining weight so I've been getting back into it and uh, I'm doing pretty good now I've, I've run up to about uh, eight miles per hour 
and um, uh, I have uh, had the incline up to as high as 12 percent and um, so uh, so so that's why I haven't um, been running or, or making videos much uh, haven't made any videos lately I'm still planning to make a, some more uh, this is my uh, this is my heart rate monitor or heart rate sensor uh, I guess the monitor is a combination burr it's cold it's a combination of uh, this sensor and the receiver uh, but uh, I'm, I'm doing better so let's get at it let's, let's get moving I put a sign up here reminding me to keep my head up so I don't damage my neck by having it down too low while I'm running and uh, uh, I'm feeling pretty good so 4% incline 5 miles per hour Actually, I'm going to go up to Come on, let's move. Let's go seven. 